Hey everyone, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com and I'm particularly excited about today's video because we're going to be talking about a project that we've been quietly working on for over six months. It's called Inside the Ear. And this is what it's all about. We worked with an animator, a visual animator, to bring the entire world inside of our ears to life in 3D and worked with our lead audiologist to make sure that it's medically accurate and the information is something that'll give you a real sense of what hearing loss looks like, what tinnitus looks like, where earwax comes from, and more. In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the process, what we've been working on, and what you can look for in this new series of videos. Let's get into it. As someone with lifelong hearing loss, I've naturally had a lot of questions about my hearing and ears over the years. Things like, what is actually happening inside of my ears to cause hearing loss or to cause me to miss words? What is tinnitus? Where does earwax come from? And over the years, I've sort of pieced together a visual of what's happening. It's from a bunch of articles I've read, from things people have told me, and then now from things that I've been told by my team members, including our lead audiologist. So about six months ago, I approached our lead audiologist, Dr. Amy Sorrow, and I suggested that we work on a project to bring the visual world of our ears to life in a way that's easily digestible for folks that are just getting started, who aren't experts in hearing health. And that's what we've been working on over the last six months. So our first step was to find an animator that could bring the world of our ears to life in a way that was visually pleasing, but also really accurate. And thankfully, we found an incredible animator and illustrator called Design Cells based out of Canada. We called them up. Fortunately, they said, sure, they'd take this project on. We also called up GN, which is the owner of Resound, Belltone, and Jabra, and we asked if they'd want to collaborate on the project, help us with some of the scientific details, and also help us with some of the funding. Once we had the animator on board, Dr. Amy went to work sketching out the inner workings of our ears. We picked five different topics that we wanted to tackle, and she pulled medical illustrations, things from when she was in grad school, things that she's seen in white papers. We put them all together into something that our animator could begin to digest and put into the world of 3D. We then worked for several months with the animator going back and forth and working through some of the finer details of each video, making sure that it was both clear and also scientifically accurate. Ultimately, the collection that is now live has five videos. The first video charts the world of sound as it comes from the outside world into the ears and into the brain. This is the most comprehensive view of how our hearing system works. The next shows how hearing loss can happen in the face of loud sounds. We then dedicated an entire video to tinnitus, specifically charting the connection between hearing loss and the brain, which causes that sensation of ringing in our ears. We also have a full video on earwax, where it comes from, how the glands work, and how it migrates naturally out of our ears. And finally, Dr. Amy and our animator worked carefully to chart what a common hearing loss looks like inside of the cochlea. So as you move through the animation, you'll see where the actual dead hair cells might occur for a high frequency hearing loss. Over the next few weeks, we'll post all of these videos to our YouTube channel, but right now you can drop down to the link in the comments and see the entire collection in one place. For the sake of this video, and to give you a sense of what we're talking about, I'm gonna play my favorite of the five, which is the video that charts what loud sounds do inside of our ears. Let's go ahead and play it. You know that loud sounds can damage your hearing. How does that really happen? Let's go inside the ear. Sound travels as a pressure wave. Louder sounds equal more pressure. The pressure wave causes mechanical vibration of the eardrum. The three bones behind the eardrum move together as a chain. This mechanical energy changes to hydraulic energy in the fluid-filled inner ear. It's here inside the cochlea that damage occurs most often. When sounds are too loud, the stereo cilia break apart from one another. This can happen all at once or over years. 
this is what hearing damage looks like inside the ear. If you haven't already figured this out, I'm incredibly excited about this project and proud of what the team has put together. If you wanna share this project either with students, with friends on social media, feel free to do that using our YouTube videos or the links in the comments below. But also if you need the files, feel free to reach out to us at hello at soundly.com. We're happy to share them with you. Our goal is really that more hearing awareness and hearing health awareness spreads around the globe. If we can help you in any way to do that, we'd love to be a part. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the comments below.